Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about a little bit more on roots. <laughs> That's right. So we've been working with roots, square roots, and exponents, and we've got a little bit of extra information for you here on roots. Take a look. So we have x squared equals 49. Well, I want you to think about what number times itself equals 49. And you're probably saying 7, right? 7 squared equals 49. But guess what? There is another number, an integer, that also this is true for. What about negative 7? Negative 7, whoops, <laughs> squared, tried to make my parenthesis a 2. I don't know what happened there. Negative 7 squared. Think about it. Negative 7 times a negative 7. We know a negative times a negative is a positive. So that is also 49. So when we're asked for the square roots of things, when we ask for what's the, what are the square roots, we have to give a positive and a negative answer. So 7 and negative 7 satisfies this equation. Take a look at this one. So we have x to the third power, which we can also say x cubed, equals 27. So I want you to think, what number times itself three times equals 27? Well, that would be the number 3, right? 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Okay, but what if I said to you x to the third equals negative 27? What would be the answer there? Aha, uh -huh, think about it. The answer would be negative 3 times a negative 3 times a negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. Positive 9 times a negative 3 is a negative 27. So, oh, there we go, negative. <laughs> so we have to be careful to always look to see Hmm, is our answer going to be positive or negative? Or could it be both positive or negative? Okay, make sense? All right, head on over to the practice problem so you can practice a few more of these to see if you have mastered square roots or the roots of numbers. Okay, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.